Today I'm going to try the mailing watercolors. They come in this box as you can see here. Um, on the back side there are color names with actually light fast information. Of course I'm not sure how trustworthy that is. Um, I do not think so much but maybe who knows and they actually come together with the Paul Rubens watercolor block. I actually have one of these already. I have this blue one. It is, I did, I'm not sure where it is. Ah, it's actually here. Uh, this is a watercolor painting and I really liked how the color moved on the paper. And what else? I think I, yes, I tried the Posca pens. The paper did peel tiny, tiny bit, but still it works like here. It started to peel, but you can also use Posca pens uh, if you want, but you have to be careful not to go too many times um, over the same spot. But I find it actually pretty cute and it was nice that this came in a set. And let's take a look at the watercolors. So, here we have a swatching card. And what I find really nice, it is a little bit thicker paper, so it's not uh, thin and that is nice. So you can really use it to swatch watercolors, but I'm going to use my paper. Um, a small booklet, I think I see some swatches inside, Color, colors, yes. Um, I think, yes, this is the 24 and 36 set and I bought the 36 set. So yeah, I'm going to try them out and see how they perform. As you can see, they have this small lid on top and the colors look, well, more or less okay. They do have some kind of cracks on top. Yes, I think you can see that, but still they are firm. So they are not moving. Mm, let's just check out if they are going to fall out. Okay, nothing is falling out. That is a good sign at least. Maybe this one, maybe they are glued to the bottom. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Can I take this out? No. No, it is, it is moving, but I cannot really take it out maybe with a little bit force in a way i'm going to swatch these and see how they are
So something I noticed here uh, is that if you have a little bit more of the color on the paper, it actually has some shine to it, which is, I would say, the first time I see this. So I'm not really sure why, but there are, you can see on that, and maybe yes, also on the black and the red ones. So on the places where there is more, color there pigment there is more shine which is really strange uh, i actually do not think i like that um yeah i would say the these the colors are okay uh, they are pigmented but i did not like them so much i don't know the the good thing they do dissolve well from from the pen so you do not have to work so much but uh, so they do dissolve but i do not like how they look on the papers and a couple of colors i was actually actually expecting them to be much darker but they were really bright and they here for example they all look all the same they are similar here but I was still expecting also from the red ones to have something more darker than, than these. And I was here, I was actually putting more of the color and that's why I, now I have this shine. Really strange. I do not, I do not like this shine. Um, yeah. So that would actually be just a small test to show you how these watercolors look like. And... The, the paper, as I said, the uh, Paul Rubens paper, I like that paper, but the colors, I would say they are okay. I mean, for the price, they, they are fine. But still, I do not, somehow, do not like this, this shine that is happening. Um, okay, guys, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!